The physics of, the, of it is like this. When you're exerting a force and pulling it, oftentimes we, did, we don't think about this that much. What's the distribution of the normal force here? You see, when you're pulling it at a regular force, the normal force might be located somewhere here. You know, in other words, uh, the, the force is uh, distributed all throughout the, uh, the bottom of the box, but that's where it peaks. So if there's a, if you can graph the normal force as a function of position, it's something like this, you know. So when you're pulling something at a regular force, the normal force of the table on it is distributed all throughout the box, but it peaks at a certain location, you see. But when you exert more and more force, that uh, uh, distribution of force goes this way, okay? So as you begin to apply more force, uh, when the force is maximum, then what happens is that distribution of the force goes to this point, and uh, it's uh, concentrated here. So the normal force peaks at the tip. It's like that, you see? So in other words, at the point that it's about to tip over, the normal force is concentrated on the front tip of the box, okay? So that's how we're gonna do it, is you say the normal force is concentrated at the front tip, then you have the mg that is concentrated here at the center. Then you have f max here. And so you have to set the torques, the sum of the torques equal to zero. Okay? The sum of the torques about the front tip. So I'm going to do the sum of the torques about the front bottom tip is equal to zero. That's how you analyze that, the physics of that problem. Some of the talks about the front bottom tip, because at the point where it tips, it tips about the front bottom tip, right? So the normal force, therefore, will not exert any torque, because it's concentrated at the front bottom tip, at the point where it's going to uh, tip over, right? So the only forces exerting a torque is the F max and the mg. Okay, so the torque due to this is equal to, uh, so it looks like this here. The h, and the angle is 90. If it is 90, then it's just h times fx times sine of 90, right? So the torque due to this is h times F max times sine of uh, 90 is equal to, that must be balanced by the torque due to the weight, mg. So it's going to be this distance times that, this, uh, the weight times sine of that angle, which is 90. You see? So the torque due to the weight is equal to this distance times the mg times sine of uh, 90. So what is this distance here? See, I'm doing the torques about the front tip here. So this distance is uh, half the 14 centimeters, right? Half of the width. So 14 centimeters divided by 2 times uh, mg, which is, uh, what was the mass? 0.174 times 9.8 times sine of 90. So sine of 90, sine of 90 cancels. And you have your uh, 7, and then what's the H? Now, in part B, it told us that the H is 15 centimeters. Okay, so we can now solve for F max. This is going to be 7 divided by 15 times 0.174 times 9.8.
0.8. Exactly. Oh, but it rounds up to. Oh, remember when I exerted the 0.4 newtons, it was constant velocity. So 0.8, it's going to accelerate. How much will it accelerate? F minus FK equal MA. 0.8 minus mu kn equals ma. So the problem might ask you, find the acceleration when it's about to tip. You know? So 0.8 minus the mu k, we solved the uh, 0.235. The n is uh, point, uh, 0.174 times 9.8. And then the mass is 0.174 times A. So that will give you the acceleration of the tipping. So the acceleration of the box when it's on the verge of tipping. And then I'm going to actually do it here. Okay, so let's see here. <laughs> it's not tipping. Physics isn't working here. It should tip when I, it was about one. You sure that our answer is right? We checked it, 0.8. Yeah, about one. So that one is a 20% error. <laughs> Okay. 